Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhyperdimension.com. Today in this video, I will be talking about how you can maximize your screen or how you can change the viewport in Playwright. Okay, now you must be thinking why I'm covering this video because it looks very easy, right? Ideally, it should be yes, but here we don't have any direct method in Playwright where you can maximize the screen. Okay, if you're coming from Selenium background, there we have a dedicated method, right? To maximize the screen like driver.manage.windows.maximize or full screen. Unfortunately, we don't have, but here we have something called viewport. So let me uh, show you one example. Take this example that if I change, see this is the full screen look like, but the moment let's say my application is opening here or maybe in this, you can see the scroll bar, right? So many times the scroll feature will get added if you are opening your application in a different size, right? So if you don't uh, open in a maximize mode, again, you might have to add the scrolling feature or you have to add the extra methods plus sometimes the test might get failed uh, get failed because that element is not visible if you have not handled properly so generally when we do uh, when a user test the application they test in a maximize mode and they do it right so now depends on your requirement you can change this screen size accordingly and continue so let me show you the current uh, resolution okay uh, so this is the previous test which i have written i would highly recommend you watch my previous series where we have discussed all of this in detail so let's say after opening this, I want to maximize. So maybe if I type full, there's no such method called full screen or even if I type maximize, it's not available, right? But if I say viewport, can you see viewport size where I can even set even I can get. So now I'm going to use viewport size and the moment I say dot, you can see I can get the width and the height of the page. So basically of our browser. So if I just say, okay, let me take the width. So this is my width, this is the height, okay? So it depends on your resolution, depends on your requirement, you can change the width and height. So let me capture this width and let me print this in console. So I'm going to capture width and let me capture the height as well. And I will show you two different ways how you can set the width and height. So let me capture the height as well. Okay, so let me run this file and let's see what is the width and height I'm getting. So let me run this login.spec.js file. One thing that you will notice, it's coming uh, in a specific size, right? So this is my width, this is my height. So you can see it's coming in a specific width and height and we'll get the values first. Yes, so it executed. So this is the width, which is 1280, height is 720. Now maybe I want to change it to a different size, okay? So first of all, let me show you one very interesting website uh, which will help you to get the viewport. Just type what is my viewport and just open this. So it, it says my screen size, which I'm using a monitor. I'm using two system. So for this, this system, obviously the viewport will be different. But for this screen, the size is 1920 and 1080. Fine. So now let me change it and let's see how it works. So I will set this width. This is my height, not my height. Actually, the browser, uh, the page that we're opening. Now, how to do it? Two ways. Let me show you one by one. This is not required or maybe I will print this just to check whether it's setting properly or not. So the first option is you go to the projects right now. I'm using Chromium for execution, right? So I can set the same thing for other browsers as well. I will show you for one remaining. You can give it a try. So just type here V and automatically it will populate and it will ask you, give me the viewport size. So, okay, let's go ahead and let's give the viewport. So curly press is open. First you will give width and width I will give 1920 and height, which I will give colon 1080. Okay. I set the width and height now directly in the configuration file, which is playwright.config.js file. Now, when I make this uh, changes at the configuration level, it means it will be applicable for each and every spec file that I will be creating or the each and every test, which I will create. But suppose you want to change the view viewport for a specific test, how we can do that. That also I will show you, but let's run this first and let's see. So I will put a comma here. Come on, save this, execute once again. 
and this time did you notice complete viewport it has captured and now it's running my test in 19201080 so it will execute my test and yeah i got the proper viewport so this is the first way which is for the complete configuration level or complete project level but suppose now i want to change for this particular test or for this particular spec file now i can come head uh, come here and say test dot use and now again you can see i can give multiple things i can give the locale also and uh, i can give the time zone and many other things as of now we are interested in viewport colon then i will say width i want this time i will change the width okay so maybe i will give a random width maybe this one this much okay 1500 1000 i will give so 1500 then height also i will give 1000 and let me run this test again the moment i run did you notice the viewport now the viewport has been changed and it will run the test and anyways we are printing so we'll get to know the width and height value in the console.log so it's running yes executed and here we go now if you create any other spec file the configuration file that change uh, that we have changed right player.config.js that will be picked up and it will take this viewport but for a specific spec file you can go ahead and use this yeah very quick video but very interesting very useful so if you like this video if you think this video helped you in any manner then do support this channel share with your friends colleague subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care